So two months later with the NZXT custom built computer and what I think of it. It's a great computer. I enjoy it. It works very well. Uh, the only thing I would have done differently in it is I would have gotten a different case, I think. The case is fine, but I probably would have went with the newer model that had the ventilation in the front um, or even the glass panel that's in the front so you could, you know, so you can see the fans in the front. The case is nice, but um, it is an older case. And I, I figured with the amount of money that I spent on it, I probably should have gave it a better case, but I was kind of just trying to get my hands on, you know, the graphics card. But uh, I really like the computer. It works pretty awesome. It's super fast. And if you're still waiting to find the RTX 3080, so if you're, if you're looking for, you know, for a new setup, you know, I would recommend it pretty great computer in my opinion I don't have really anything else to compare it to other than my older computer that I built but uh, this thing is just it just does everything super fast it edits the video super fast the only other thing I probably would have changed is the m2 storage on it they didn't have like a one terabyte in stock at the time so I went with the 500 gig I probably should have opted and I ended up doing two of them I probably should have just done the one and waited for like a one terabyte to become in stock somewhere else and just put it in myself. So I have two 500 gig uh, M2 Samsungs in there. I probably should have just went with the one so they could put the operating system on it and then picked up a one terabyte and added that in. There is another slot for the, uh, the M2 storage so down the road, maybe I'll pick up a one or a two terabyte M2. But that's the only that's the only thing. So I wouldn't have done the two 500 gigs and I would have got a better case. And that I mean, that's about it. I mean, other than that, the thing runs pretty awesome. I, I have no complaints, no issues. So I got the LEDs in the case. The ones in the case just go through like a rainbow of colors. I have the LEDs on the motherboard set up where when it gets, the graphics card gets warm, it'll go from blue to yellow to red. And then these LEDs here on the fan those will change the same colors if the CPU gets warm, you know, from blue to yellow to red. Yeah, so that's the only thing that I would change if I were to reorder this all over again, is I would get either the glass front so you can see these LEDs and the fans from the front or I would do, you know, the vented one. It's the only thing I would change. Maybe I'll need a project next winter. I can order a new case for it and swap the stuff over. But realistically, probably not. Just finished rendering this video. It took about 10 minutes. It's another good thing about this computer. It's nice and fast. The old computer would have taken hours. So you can change the colors. Like right now I have it in fading. But you can do a fixed color. Breathing. Fading. This one's pretty cool. You can change the speed. You can change the colors.
a little bit too much for me. And the LEDs that are on the motherboard, there and there. And where else are they? I think that is basically it for the motherboard. Those you actually have to change in the software for the motherboard. And same with the graphics card. You see that's just like blue. I mean, there's not a lot going on. This one uh, where it says GeForce RTX, you can't change that. But let's see. So to change the motherboard colors, you gotta go to this MSI center thing. And then you get the motherboard right here and you can change the temperatures. And that's how I have it set up.